We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hey Vikes, I'm Emery and here's your daily news. A representative from the Kansas City Art Institute will be presenting about the school in Mr. LeDuc's room next Wednesday. If you're taking a class for Washburn dual credit, you only have until tomorrow to turn in your enrollment sheets. The Sheriff's Office will be running radar on school zones. Please follow the speed limit. If you like to draw, the Art Club has a drawing night next Tuesday from 6 to 7.30. Tomorrow, volleyball, soccer, and boys cross country teams will have their scrimmages. Donations to the Topeka Rescue Mission will be accepted. If you're interested in the 2020 softball program, come to the meeting tomorrow in room 902. Now over to Weather with Josh. And then I said to her, no, your hands are small. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up sometimes. Anyway, boy, do we should have an action-packed day August 30th. How so, Chase? There's a volleyball scrimmage from 3.30 to 4.45. There is a boys' soccer scrimmage from 5 o'clock to 5.40. The boys' cross-country, red, white, and blue team time trials are from 5.50 to 6.20. Woo! Happy Thursday to you. Let's take a look at what we're expecting for today. We've got a lot to get through in the weather segment, so we're going to go through this quickly. But today, it's looking warm and muggy for the first time this week. And then tonight, get ready because some strong storms are expected in the area. That'll be after sunset. And we'll take a look at the timing coming up here in just a second. But there is a slight risk of severe weather, so we do have to keep that in mind for tonight. Here we go by 7 o'clock. You can see storms in western Kansas start to move to the east and they form in northern Kansas and drop down. So by around 2 a.m. we could have storms here and that comes along with a chance for some high winds and excessive rainfall. Could be talking about rainfall amounts between 2 and 3 inches just tonight and we're not done with the storm chances just yet. But let's take a quick look at Dorian still out over the Atlantic and oh my, has this changed. We now have a Category 1 hurricane that the National Hurricane Center predicts will intensify into a major Category 3 storm before making landfall somewhere in Florida. So this is going to be a big national headline over the next several days. And that will start moving slower as it gets closer to the United States as well. It's going to be a big flooding and wind issue for the southeastern United States. And also, back to home, we are looking at warmer temperatures for the second half of Labor Day weekend. You can see Saturday not going to be bad with 76 degrees. It's not going to be raining the entire day, but on and off scattered thunderstorms will be possible. Then Sunday, we dry out with 83 degrees, but Monday, getting hot once again with highs returning to the upper 80s. Here's the seven day forecast. You can see after that stormy next few days, we do dry out for next week with highs already returning to near 90 degrees by next Tuesday. Have a great long weekend. Emery, back to you. Thanks, Josh. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.